Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're here to set up our September sinking funds and if you haven't already checked out my budget video definitely do that. It, so in today's video I decided that I'm gonna set up my sinking funds. Also I'm going to you know put together the transaction log and then if you want to stick around I'm actually going to close out my August sinking funds so you can kind of see like what my process is and then we can go ahead and put the beginning balance for September. I'm going to put that towards the end of the video. I know it seems a little out of order. Um, I'm going to put that towards the end of the video though just because I want to make sure that if you're here to just to see what we're adding for September that you can see that and not have to sit through it because it does take some time to like you know get the totals and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our September sinking funds first and I already know what amounts I'm adding so it'll be a pretty easy thing. Um, reconciling at the end of the month is not like it's not difficult it just takes some time because you have to subtract everything out and get totals and all of that fun stuff so that's why I'm going to do that after but sometimes I decide to close out my sinking funds um, before the month is over kind of like I am doing today just because I know there aren't any other big transactions coming out of there but if there's something that I know is coming up um, the last part of the month then I'll keep them open and do it that way okay so in terms of sinking funds, I am cutting some sinking funds. So you'll see that as we're going through. I think I will have a place to put like my, um, I think I will have a place to put my total line finally. Okay, so my categories are, I have beauty. This includes my foundation, my face wash. I use a special face wash from Clinique that helps with like acne and stuff like that. I've been using that, I think, since college. It's been forever. We also have car insurance. And in August, we actually had our car insurance come out. It's coming out actually the last, um, I think it's like August 31st or something, but I already counted it because I know the amount, everything like that. We do pay our car insurance every six months, which is the reason why we have it as a sinking fund. I don't put anything that we pay like in terms of bills every month in sinking funds because it just doesn't make sense for me to do that. I have bills that are every like two, three, six months in here just so that I can save a little bit every month for those expenses. We also have car maintenance, which is just for like oil changes and any major repairs that we have for the cars. Jason and I both have pretty new cars. Mine is a 2013, which I know is technically not new, but I consider it new still. And then we have a 2018 RAV4, which is what we're currently paying off. That's our financial goal right now. We also have car tags. And I believe in October, my car tags will be due. So that is coming up. We also have cell phones. And I think this is confusing for some people, but if you have been around for a while, you probably have heard me talk about this forever. We do have a cell phone plan with Jason's family. All of his siblings are in it, on it. Um, and so we just put a little bit aside every single month so that we can pay. Um, and Jason's mom, kind of forgave a bunch of it so that we could like have extra money for vacation. She did that with all of the kids. And I'm really hoping that we can get on some type of like, okay, every month we pay or every quarter we pay, but you'll see we have not paid and it's been three months. So I'm hoping that we can figure something out because I personally don't like that. I would rather just pay things when it's due and not have stuff like up in the air, but that's kind of how they decide to handle that. So we next have chat books. So this is um, like a little photo book for the girls. So we have some money in there so that when we do like get enough pictures in the book, we have the money set aside for it. We also have Christmas and gifts. And this is where like any birthday presents would come out of. It's also obviously for Christmas. So we do use this almost every single month. 
Okay, next we have clothes for all of our family and I choose to break it out because honestly, if I didn't, I feel like it would be used all by either me or Jason. Um, Jason buys a lot of clothes from like Amazon. He's always stocking up on like new shirts and stuff and I just feel like the type of clothes that I like, especially from like my favorite store, dry goods, it's pretty expensive. So I split them up so that no one is using too much of the money, if that makes sense. We also have a coffee category and honestly, I think this is going to be one of the categories that I go away with. I haven't been using my Nespresso machine that much anymore and um, I've been making this tea. It's a matcha tea. I'll definitely have to add it to one of my vlogs soon, like just me showing how I make it because a lot of people ask. I'm going to say it does not taste exactly like what you could get from like Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, but it's pretty similar and it's so much cheaper. Like the, I get like a medium, I think from Dunkin' Donuts and that's like still like $4. And this powder that I get is I think like 10 11 dollars and i could seriously make like two weeks worth of my tea so definitely 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 um worth it to make it at home even though it doesn't taste exactly like it next we have costco this is for our costco membership so we just put a little bit aside so that when that comes due we don't have like a 60 dollar random fee we have diapers as well for Mila and actually still for Macy. We need to transition her out of nighttime diapers. That is something that we need to do. We do have entertainment, but I don't think I'm going to add anything to this. A lot of our um, activities that we've been doing have been like outside and it's been free. We're trying to pay off debt. We're trying to pay off Jason's car. So I'm really trying not to like put any extra money into anything, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so then we have family pictures, and I have no idea when we're going to do these. We should do them soon, I think, because the last family picture that we have is, well, we have some, like, that we took ourselves, but the last, like, professional ones we have are from the hospital when Milo is a baby, so it's been a while. We also have golf. This is for Jason. He goes golfing whenever he gets a chance. We have home maintenance, which will definitely get... Um, some use because we did have a tornado come through. We didn't get that affected, but our fence, like a lot of people, um, had the same issue, went down in a couple places. So Jason's in the middle of fixing that. We also have tolls because in Illinois there are tolls everywhere. So we have I passes for both cars. We also have trash. This is paid every three months. So I just put a little bit aside every month for that. We have vacation and you guys, I'll tell you a little bit about what we're doing with vacation. And then the last thing is water. I did take out nails because I am, as you can probably tell, I'm not getting my nails done. I just, I don't know. I might go like once in a while just as like a fun treat or something, but I, I don't know, I've, since the whole quarantine thing, I really have not been going because they weren't open and I'm, at this point, I'm just like, it's kind of a waste of money. Like, I used to think like, okay, um, I'm willing to spend the money on it and now I'm just not. I think that we go in, you know, spurts of stuff like where you're like, oh, it's worth going to get my nails done and then other times you're like, no, I'm not spending any money on that, so... I did go, obviously, you see my nails are painted. I did go for um, my friend's wedding, and that was the last time that I went. And that was, I think, maybe like the second time all year that I have gone. So I have been, haven't been going, and I feel like once you get out of the habit, it gets easier to not go. Okay, so we have all of our lines and everything set up. So like I said, right now, I'm just gonna put in the amounts that I'm adding. And then if you want to stick around, I know it's gonna be kind of a longer video. If you want to stick around, then I will close everything out and put in the beginning balances. So for beauty, I'm gonna add in $20. And this is kind of what I've been doing for a while. I feel like it's a decent amount because I have a ton of face wash. And stuff so I know I'm not gonna need any of that but like in terms of foundation I know eventually I will need that so I feel like that's a pretty good amount to to put in 
Next is car insurance. And in the past couple of months, I've been doing like $20 because we already had so much in there. I've recalculated everything based off of our last insurance premium. So what was due in August. And I think what we need to start putting in is 150. I think that'll be enough. And I believe before I started adjusting it, I was putting in 175. So it is a little bit lower. Car maintenance, we put in $50 every month. And I honestly, I don't have that amount. Like there's no set reason why I do that amount. Although I have to say, because both of our cars are fairly new, that's why I feel like 50 is enough. As my car gets older, I'll probably bump that up to maybe $100 per month because um, with older cars, you'll obviously need more repairs and stuff. But we don't really drive either car that much anymore, so I'm not sure exactly how all of that's going to work out, but we'll see. For car tags, I'm going to add in $30. Cell phones, I'm going to add in $50. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm pretty sure the real amount is more like 40 something. I put in 50 just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure it's more around $40 per month. Okay, for chat books, I'm adding in nothing because we have plenty in there. We have more than enough to get two books for, for um, the girl, so that's usually all I want to keep in there. For Christmas and gifts, I'm adding in 250 and most of this will honestly be used this month because it's my birthday, it's my sister's birthday, my nephew's birthday, and Yaya's birthday, so lots of birthdays. Um, the adults in our family get $20 per month, which seems really low, and trust me, it doesn't really get much, but it does cover something, so Jason gets 20 The girls both get $50, and that has been working out pretty well. Um, Macy will need like a whole new warm wardrobe, whenever it starts getting colder. And then Mila is growing like a weed. She is in nine month clothes now. She'll definitely need 12 month clothes pretty soon. So you'll see when I'm, oh, I put Macy twice. I'm sure you guys were yelling at me while I was doing that. That's just, believe it or not, I don't call Mila Macy that often. And I don't do it the other way either. But when you're not paying attention and you're talking, it's easy to make mistakes. So whiteout is key. Again, I will get $20. For coffee, I'm adding in zero because I already have plenty in there. And I honestly think I'm going to go away with that category. Costco, we're going to do $5. That's just consistent with what will get us to $60 when we need it. Diapers, we're going to do 50. And I'm hoping that that's enough because... I feel like we haven't been spending that much on diapers, but of course, whenever I do like a less amount, then we have some issues, but it'll be okay. Entertainment, I'm doing zero, like I said, because we've been trying to just do things that are free as much as possible. Family pictures, we always add in $25. And I think this will get us to like $200, which is not that much for family pictures, but I'm hoping we can find like a cheaper option so that we can get family pictures done soon. For golf, I add in $25 as well every month and pretty soon this will be done because I don't add stuff in during the winter time. Home maintenance, I'm gonna add in $50. We have a pretty sizable amount in there right now and I don't think that Jason's gonna need much more in terms of home maintenance, so I think that'll be good. Tolls, I'm adding in zero because we're already plenty funded, funded for that. <clears throat> Trash, I'm adding in $30. For vacation, I'm adding in nothing because we are actually going to be catching up from spending money from our Colorado trip. So I'll talk a little bit about that when I show you guys what I'm going to be doing. I'm basically just adding in more money in August to make sure that our vacation fund is zero. So I believe it ends up being like eight or $900 over what we had in the sinking fund. So I'm just gonna do like, let's say $900 divided by 250. So for like almost four months, we'll put in nothing um, in the sinking fund just so that it kind of evens out. And then in terms of water, we are currently negative on water. So I'm going to add in $60 just to make sure that we are covered there. So that brings us to $935 that we're adding to our sinking funds. And that is 
pretty much it. Like I said, I took out some of our categories just because I figured it didn't make sense to keep funding stuff that we're not using. I believe pool passes was one of those categories that we honestly haven't used in two years and we've just had money sitting there. So I'm like, you know what? We're not gonna do this anymore. Same thing with nails. Again, I'm not going and getting my nails done right now. So next I'm gonna set up my, my transaction log and then we'll get into closing out August. This is a pretty simple thing, but it does make a huge difference when you have you know, transactions coming out and you need to put those down. I am just obsessed with this, with this fall kit. I love it. I think it's just perfect. And I'm super excited that I get to use it during my birthday month. It's always really fun. Okay, so that is there. And then I'll just need to use a ruler and draw in some lines and then we can move on to closing out August. I don't know if I've ever shown closing out the month. I usually just do that when I'm prepping my budget for the next month. So that is everything that I normally do for my September sinking funds. Just setting it up um, and then let's go ahead and get to August here. Okay, so for August, like I mentioned, we did have some transactions. So what I normally do is I take a highlighter. This is the Erin Condren highlighter. I really been, I've been loving this pack. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of go through and I start with like the first category that I have here. So that would be Christmas. And I'll just, you know, put together like a running total of everything. As I'm putting it in my calculator, I normally highlight it just so that I know that I have it. So it doesn't look like we have any other Christmas stuff. So I just know that what I'm going to be taking out of Christmas is going to be $22.98. So as I'm doing that, since I know that's the only transaction, what I'll do next is just take the $386. 89 and I'll add the 250 and then I'll subtract out 2298 which brings us to a total of 613 91 so that's kind of my process I will just keep doing that as we go through so next is pool passes so again we wanted to clear this out and actually now that I think of it I don't think I put this in let me I did clear out the pool passes completely, so let's see. Pool passes forty two ninety six. I need to put in another thing for that. Forty two ninety six is pool passes. I put it on my like Colorado trip thing. I was just kind of netting those together, but I forgot to write it here. So anyway, if I add in the nine sixteen. And the 4296, that should bring us to whatever's left over in pool passes, which does 5212. So we're just gonna take that out. 5212. And again, I like to highlight it as I'm going. So got that. Got that. I like to just keep record of everything. Sometimes you'll see that I'll just put like a negative here and that's because with car insurance, obviously the only thing coming out of car insurance is our car insurance. But for other times where there's like multiple things that are making up what I'm taking out, I like to just kind of record that and have a record of it. So again, this is a different circumstance because normally I wouldn't be taking anything out from pool passes unless it was pool passes. But again, because we wanted to just get rid of that because we haven't been using it, I kind of netted that with our vacation fund. Diapers is next, so we have $24.99 here. So we can go ahead and do that. And then one more at $28.49. Which brings us to $53.48 is what we spent. So diapers is 53.48. So I'll just do 
56, 18 plus 25 minus 53, 48, which brings us to $27.70. Okay, next is beauty, and that's the only thing there. So that's just going to be $18 that we're going to be taking out. I believe I bought new makeup brushes here. So we're just going to do 20, 75 plus 20 minus 18 brings us to $22.75. So we can go ahead and mark that off as well. Okay, next we have golf. Jason's had a couple golf transactions and I believe he was already negative. So um, this month he will obviously with, with September adding, he'll be adding enough to make it a positive amount. I don't, I don't like when they go negative, but for little things like this where I know it's only gonna be like a very temporary thing, I don't mind it. So his total golf amount for this month was $22. 22.49, and he we added 25, but he was already negative 13.70, and then he spent 22.49, which means that he is negative by 11 dollars and 19 cents. I like to put anything that's negative, as you can see, in red, and then if I'm adding anything extra, I try and do that in green just to like make it stand out. So. That is that. Next is vacation. So for vacation, we had $1,056.34. Lots of expenses for vacation. And I showed in like a previous weekly check-in where I got that number. I basically took that from like this whole record that I had of the vacation. I like to do that every vacation just to make sure that I have everything recorded and I'm not forgetting anything. So we had 205 as well, and then we had tolls of 1325, which I'm including in with our vacation because it was four vacation tolls. So that brings us to a total of $1,274.59. $1 so we'll go ahead and subtract that out. So $1,274.59. And if my math is correct, 205.74 plus 250 minus 127.459. That, let's see, is that what we added? Huh, something went wrong here. Um, let's see, vacation. Oh, I see. 818.85, which is correct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of mark this off. So we're gonna have to um, add the 818.85 to our sinking funds in addition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark that off. I'm gonna subtract out 250 so that it's a positive number and um, what we're adding into our sinking funds for vacation would be one thousand sixty eight dollars and eighty five cents that's so that we are able to make that a positive number um, and I want this to be zero now so again I had to add in an extra eight hundred dollars or so so for the next three, four months. So like I was saying, for the next couple of months, we will not be adding anything into vacation so that we can make up for the fact that we had to add more this month. Our um, beginning balance, or what we added for the month, obviously has changed too. So we originally added $1,010, and now we obviously have to add in that extra $818.85 which brings us to $1,828.85. So that is what we decided to do for vacation just to make it easy. I did not want to, you know, have a situation where 
we, um, I don't want to have a, a situation where we were like paying back for several months, especially because of how much it was. Like that was a lot of money. Um, so I didn't want to do that. Okay. So, um, now that is done, I do also want to record, I didn't put them in just yet, but I want to record some transactions that we had for fixing up the house. So, um, that, I have it kind of with some other random stuff. So, it was $70.86, $25.94, and $4.50. And $43. So that brings us to a total of $139.81. $139.81. And I'm just going to make a note to myself recorded in August sinking funds. Okay, $139.81. I have a whole nother like schedule and I wanted to make sure that um, I didn't show any like confidential information. So I have a bunch of stuff all on that one page just because we've had a lot of random stuff. So tornado. So I did want to record that here as well, just because I don't want to have this open. It's still not done yet, but I wanted to record it in the month that it actually happened. So we have 139.81. So if we do 271.76, we add in $50 and then we subtract out the 139.81, we come out with one. 81.95. Okay, so that is all good to go. And let's see, 139. Okay, so I think that's all good. So now I'm just going to go through and all of these items are obviously, we had no transactions for these. I'm just going to put zeros in. You could leave them blank, but for me, I just, I'm afraid that if I do that, I'm going to think, oh, did I forget something? So I'm going to put zeros and then I'm just going to go through and fill in the total. So I'll do that really quick because I don't feel like you guys need to watch me do that, but um, that's the next process. I'll go ahead and close all of those out, put the ending balances, and then move that over to my September sheet. Okay, so I went through and now I have my ending balance for my sinking fund. So that total is $2,067.58. We did spend almost $2,600 from our sinking funds this month, which is quite a bit. But if you include like the fact that our car insurance was like $900 and then of course our vacation was quite a bit as well. So now what I'll do is I'll go through and add all of those to my beginning balances for September and we'll be all set. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that whole process. I feel like it's um, always fun to just see like stuff like that, which is very like it's for me, it seems like common sense and not like that exciting. But I feel like sometimes when you're watching other people do their process, it's fun and you get some new ideas. So I'm just going to add all of those in. So we have $22.75 for beauty. Car insurance, we had 361. Cart maintenance, we ended with 404. 24. Car tags, we ended with 113. 24. Cell phones, we ended with 101.18. Chat books, we had $38.11. Christmas and gifts, we had $613.91. Jason's clothes, he had $27.01. Macy has $54.47. Mila has $232.21.
Mine is negative still at $61.58. I'll just continue adding in the $20 until that's over. It's different for me. I don't know why, but in my mind, like $60 is completely different than like hundreds of dollars. So I just know that I can't buy anything out of my clothes fund for a while. Coffee, we had $19.20. Costco, we ended with $35. Diapers, we ended with $27.70. Entertainment, we have zero. Family pictures, we ended with $183. Golf, we ended with negative, nine, negative $11.19. Home maintenance, we ended with $181.95. Tolls, we ended with $41.65. Trash, we have $83.58. Vacation, we're starting with zero because again, I added extra money to that in August and we will just continue not adding anything to kind of catch up and you guys weren't seeing any of that. Sorry about that. Um, and then water, we have negative $42.46. So all of that comes to a total beginning balance of $2,067.58. So now what I do, um, and again, this is probably like way more information that you guys want, but I just figured I would talk about it since I've already been at this place. So right now what I'll do is I'll see what we should have in that account right now. So right now we should have $2,067.58 oops, $67.58 plus $9.35. So what we should have in the account right now should be a little over $3,000. Now keep in mind that I will have to add back the insurance because that is something that is going to come out at the very end of the month. So adding that back in, that's what my balance should be. I use my Discover card to have to like for every transaction, whether it be like a regular budget expense or a sinking fund. So now I will have to adjust my sinking fund account so that it equals this plus my insurance amount. And I'll do that. I'll just write a check to my other account and balance it out. That's the way that I choose to handle it. So those are our sinking funds for September. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this whole process and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.